Hi, my name's Vin Sheehan and today I'd like to talk about Rachmaninoff's second piano concerto in C minor, opus 18. I'd like to go through this very famous work, exploring how the themes are put together in the overarching structure of each of the movements. I'd like to uh, play some examples on the piano and the violin. The the second piano concerto was uh, begun in a very dark time for Rachmaninoff in 1897, his first symphony, um, which should have propelled him to the, his international career, um, received a disastrous premiere. It was panned by the critics. It's even said that Glazunov, the conductor and famed teacher, um, who conducted the score on the night of the premiere. It said that he was drunk. Um, whatever happened, uh, it put Rachmaninoff into um, a deep depression. And he started uh, seeking help um, psychologically from a, a doctor, Nikolai Dahl. And uh, this seemed to shift something in Rachmaninoff and he was able to start um, composing again. He started this work, in fact, this piano concerto. It was composed between 1900 and 1901. Well, the work received its full premiere in November 1901. Rachmaninoff won the Glinka Prize because of it. It was a huge success and the rest is history, as they say. So, We'll um, begin with the first movement, and the first movement is in sonata form, and we begin with this introduction, which starts in a different key, we start in F minor, um, to the home key, which is C minor. And this has got a rather, um, it sounds like perhaps Ru Russian Orthodox bells are conjured up in these opening chords. So that's the introduction, quite an unforgettable introduction. We're now firmly in C minor and we begin the first subject, this rather mournful and lugubrious uh, melody. It goes something like this, introduced by the strings and the clarinets of a piano accompaniment. <laughs> There's a corresponding uh, phrase to that melody as well, very emotional, goes like this. We first hear it in the uh, cellos, I think. That eventually takes us to a, a transition um, where the, 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 the pianist shows off some virtuosity and um, that takes us uh, to the second subject, which is this glorious romantic melody which Rachmaninoff specialised in. We begin with this viola um, subsidiary idea actually, but kind of a linking idea uh, before the uh, 
the second subject begins proper, which goes like this. Very beautiful idea. Eventually that takes us to this linking passage, um, it's kind of transition actually, which takes us into the development. The development we return to the first subject and some of the more perhaps martial elements of that melody which are latent within it come to the fore. Um, we hear this rhythm, dum da da dum da 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 dum da da dum um, we also, and the development comes to this uh, crashing climax, it's like these two cogs grinding against each other, that of the orchestra and the piano. The piano plays these uh, wonderfully full chords and eventually we get to the true climax where we have this idea. takes us to the recapitulation which is incredibly exciting because the well, the strings have the uh, the melody the first subject but the solo piano has this kind of idea thrilling. The first subject then dies down as it did in the exposition and then without break we go into the second subject this time of course in the tonic key. We have this very moving um, horn solo here of that uh, that beautiful idea. <laughs> And then that takes us to a thrilling coda, and that's the end of that marvellous first movement. The second movement is, uh, of course, incredibly famous. It's had a life of its own, uh, used as the basis of various pop songs. It's a really beautiful movement. Um, essentially, you could say it's in ternary form with quite a significant interruption. Uh, we begin with an introduction which takes us from the key of the first movement C minor and takes us to E major. Quite a, a change there. And we begin with these arpeggios, very delicate on the piano. So on these beautiful arpeggios, and then we hear this beautiful melody on the flute. Then clarinet. beautiful melody, the A section of this slow movement. We go into B section which is in uh, the minor mode, F sharp minor. Um, very mournful idea. Eventually that takes us to a C section. The, the mood changes here, it's far more jovial. And uh, eventually this C section includes a cadenza, which was of course absent from the first movement quite unusually. And then that takes us back to the beautiful melody of the A section, 
uh, with a rather touching coda as well. The finale is essentially a rondo movement. We have two main ideas which keep coming back, um, almost like a first and second subject, although it's not, uh, you couldn't describe it in a strict sonata form. We do have this introduction, rather the martial or um, militaristic in nature. The piano goes crazy with these uh, wonderfully exciting uh, arpeggios and uh, chromatic runs. And then we have the main idea, which we call A. The, the bare bones of it are this. And then we have, uh, and then there's a subsidiary idea. It kind of breaks into almost a waltz-like figure. Da, 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 da. There's this kind of queasy motion there, but this is dominated by that initial idea. We have a transition, and that takes us to the B section, which is this characteristic Rachmaninoff romantic melody, which goes like this. First heard on the oboes. beautiful melody. Very film-like, you know, very Hollywood. Used in Brief Encounter as well, that famous film. Then we have this rather odd transition, rather military tattoo idea, with these triplets. And that eventually takes us back to the A section with that melody. Um, after the return to the A section, we have a development section, which I call C. And by the way, please follow the, uh, if you're into following music with the score, I've put the uh, bar numbers with the sections down in the description below. This development's exciting. It contains, it starts with this fugato passage, um, like this, based on that A section. It's tossed between the first violins and the, the piano, first of all. Very wide-ranging emotionally, this development. Um, and then we go back to the B section. Um, we think it might be some kind of recapitulation, but it's in D-flat major, um, the wrong key as such. So then we have the transition again, and um, that takes us back to the A section. Variation on the A section, actually. And uh, then we finally get to the B section proper, which I guess is the, the, the grand climax of the whole work in the, um, the home key. And so on, that wonderfully rousing melody. And then finally, at the very end of the work, we have this uh, brilliant coda to round off this terrific work. And my goodness, what a marvellous comeback this work is after the, uh, the devastation Rachmaninoff must have felt uh, after the failure of his first symphony. What a marvellous work to silence his critics and to seal his name forever in the great canon of classical music composers. I'd like to thank the Oracle of Awesomeness for suggesting that I do a video on Rachmaninoff. And um, if any of you have a piece you'd like me to look at, please put them in the comments below um, and I'll do my best to have a look at it. And um, if this is your kind of thing, please click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.